This is a J Mix exclusive. Mm -hmm. How the hell did you get a camera inside Can-Am? <laughs> Man, that is the weirdest thing. You, you know what? I mean, you can put this on the record. It, it, it still trips me out how we did that because literally when you come into Can, when you come into the studio, you're fresh like you're going to the airport. You know how the airport is right now? That's how death row was back then, you know? This was in the 90s. So the metal detector... The wands, the two big police officers patting you down and the whole thing, right? But, like you say, Pac had so much love for me and so much love for his homeboys in the day that it was pretty much roll out the red carpet. These are my real homeboys. Get up off of them. You know what I mean? Don't, you know, you ain't got to be all like how you really normally are to everybody else because this is my family coming through here. So, me and my crew, me and my people, we had a camera just so happens with us. <laughs> so... We, you know, that's how we got the camera in there. But I was shocked after the fact that we were able to even do that, you know. But it all boils down to, like I say, how much love he had, how much respect should have had for Pox close people, you know what I mean? So that's that's how we got that camera in there. Um, and that was during the Hit Em Up session, correct? Yes, that was the night he made Hit Em Up. Yeah, he had, um, he was recording hit him up he hadn't even laid his vocals his verse yet by the time i got to hit him up can you can you tell us about the session uh left eye was there goody bob showed up yeah i hadn't really even really well i knew left eye was there because i was talking to her in the hallway briefly i was telling her how i had seen her but i'd met her at the same time at jack the rapper um uh, same time i met tupac and i was basically talking to her about that then in the hallway and um and, um, um, so, you know, so I get, I get, first of all, I got lost on my way going to Can-Am. You know, we finally get to Can-Am. We come in and just, you know, he, the, the track is up and, uh, they were, you know, in the midst of doing it. The guitar player was there, the engineer was there, everybody, all the people were there. Um, then he was just going in, you know, then, uh, the Goody Mob, Bernard Parks, my homeboy Bernard Parks was managing the Goody Mob at the time. And so he called me. Well, I called him. Somehow we were on the phone. And I said, y'all come through the studio. Pop one meet y'all. So they were like, okay, cool. We coming right now. So they hurry up and came through the studio. And they were there. Uh, left Eye was already there. Um, and so that's that's how that went. You know, and then, of course, you know, it's right in the middle of weed, right in the middle of war. You know, East Coast, West Coast. So, you know, so the song is like, you know, we all pumped up about the song sounding good and, Pocket's passionate, he's going in. So, um, you know, we didn't even talk about what happened or any of that kind of stuff. It just was like, we're going to get him, you know what I mean? On, on wax type thing. So, he, you know, we played it, he played that. He, it was like some parts on there that you, I don't even think people even heard of, where he was cussing the people out and talking crazy, and, you know, he was really going in. I think they might have cut that stuff out. But, um, it's that. You see, is it on here still? Uh, some of it is. I got a version of it where the mic starts cutting out because he's yelling so loud in it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I got to get nostalgic. At the time, do you, did you realize that, I mean, that how colossal of a diss song that was? No, I didn't. No, no, more, no one never knows. No, some, most of the time, you never really know the impact of a record is going to have when you're putting it out, you know? So, you know, I can never tell. You, 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 I don't even think you would think. We just we felt like it was going to be like a good, you know, they, we knew that they were going to be mad about it, you know, for sure. But we didn't know the impact it was going to really have in general, you know?
Hey all, it's JMix here, and I want to thank everybody that took the time to watch the video. If you liked it, go ahead and throw it a like, maybe even a comment down below. And if you really like my content, check out my Patreon. The link is down below. For a dollar a month, you get all the live streams, unedited as soon as they happen, plus interviews in advance and other bonus content. The link is in the description. If not, you guys could always watch one of the videos to the side of me. See you on the next upload. One love, everybody.